What's going on guys, Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com back again with another video and in this video I got something super special for you because I have the first two comma club uh, I guess winner on my channel and I'm super excited to have Rachel here. Um, Rachel, if a lot of people um, don't know what the two comma club is so we're going to get into that but can you just kind of introduce yourself to my channel, um, who you are, where you're from, what you do? Yeah, for sure. So. Thanks for having me, Jelani. My name is Rachel Lee, and I am an online marketer, a funnel hacker, and I really love affiliate marketing and teaching people how to make money online with affiliate marketing. Uh, I live in Hollywood area in California. Nice. So cool, but I'm in NorCal right now and always traveling and on the road, so that's why it's really great that I can have an online business. Yeah, for sure. I totally agree with that. I'm actually going to um, California, hopefully, in about a few weeks, maybe three weeks or something like that, um, San Diego area. Nice. Yeah, I've never been there, so I'm excited. So you are a marketer. Obviously, this is a marketing channel. What? How did you get into marketing? Did you like always knew you wanted to be a marketer, or like what's the story behind you becoming a, a marketer? Yeah, for sure. Well, I always knew I did want to be an entrepreneur, so in college, I studied uh, business and marketing, and there's only so much they can actually teach you about business yeah, in absolutely. school. I actually ended up teaching a digital marketing class to the, the business school because they didn't have like digital marketers as teachers. And then the best class I took, though, was an internship class because you actually get to work. And that got me a job at an agency. And I learned a lot, but I realized, oh, I could uh, do this on my own. Why am I building someone else's business? Right. So I started doing this on my own, getting my own clients. But I was still doing client work, like my time for money. I would I would put in a bunch of work, but I would I would I would get paid like based on the time that I put in. I wasn't building systems or making passive income. I just didn't know how. Right. So along that journey, I just worked on lots of different projects, heard about ClickFunnels a couple of years ago at a conference Russell Brunson spoke at. I didn't know what I would build a funnel for, so I asked my friend who had ClickFunnels, hey, could I just try to build a funnel for you for free? And that's how I learned the system. So that's what you guys can do too. If you want to learn any new system, first get some free clients and then start charging. Um, then I got into some different projects with some partners too. So I had this successful e-commerce project that was the what made it to the Two Comma Club. People say, what, what was it? What was it? What'd you sell? I said, you know what? It doesn't freaking matter what I sold. You yeah. can sell anything. You know, I was just watched Russell Brunson's video. He said someone was selling Bigfoot tours. Yeah, exactly. So, um, if, for people who don't know, what is the Two Comma Club? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, it's when you reach a, a million dollars in sales in one sales funnel on ClickFunnels, which even if maybe some of the pieces of your funnel is technically like the pages are in different spots, it's still like one project. Right. And we actually hit a million in three weeks. <laughs> wow. And then like, the 1.7 million in three months. It's crazy. Wow, so that's insane. Um. So I don't know if you knew this, but I actually started. I got into internet marketing from uh, e-commerce as well, um, and I was on a Shopify pretty heavily. And then I kind of switched over to ClickFunnels, and I realized that funnels increases your conversions like insanely. Do you agree with that? Yes, because you're walking people through the sales process. So instead right. of them just going into a store, which is like a Shopify store, a funnel is more like the a salesperson walking up to them and guiding them along right. the purchasing decision. Exactly, exactly. And that's what I kind of tell people on my channel, but I don't think people understand like how powerful funnels are. You know, like the the average cart value increases by so much when you, like you said, guide the person to say, hey, you want this, I'll upsell you this. And if you don't want that, I'll downsell you. Like, it's just so fun. <laughs> um, it is. It is. <laughs> it's so fun. So you made $1.7 in about three weeks. That's insane. And... Were there any like systems that you that helped you get there besides ClickFunnels? Yeah, yeah. Well, softwares. There's lots of different softwares, but as far as systems, that was the whole. That's the whole reason the business was successful and 
the business was not successful because of systems. Right. So good systems we had in place. I hired 15 virtual assistants from the Philippines in the span of a week. Uh, I had partners, so it was great to have partners. I wouldn't have got there without the partners and without the teamwork. But with partners, people have different ideas of how businesses should be ran. And I'm all about systems and duplicatable steps and standard operating procedures, strong foundations. Right. Um, I, I don't even um, – just certain things that, like, in the business that would kind of fall apart, it would be because of a lack of systems or because we grew so fast that there wasn't, like, enough hours in the day right. to keep up with it. But it was uh, the – best learning experience ever, so I take what I learned onto my future businesses, whether it be affiliate marketing, um, email list building, selling a course or coaching, selling anything. Yeah. Uh, I like the, the standard operating procedures. Right. So you're speaking in past tense, so I, I assume that you're not currently doing that e-com store or e-com business anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm glad you asked. The, the e-com business is still in business, and I don't work with the business anymore. I exited. Okay. It, it was not a matter of money to me. There's no amount of money that could um, uh, be – like, look, if the stress is too much, you yeah. know, and, and just how you're feeling right. at work on a project isn't aligned with your values anymore or it's not – it's just you're not lit up about it. The money doesn't matter, and it's not even worth sticking around. So I had my run with it. You know, I learned so much. I got my trophy. I got paid a bit, and on to the next yeah. um, business building project. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. I feel like you shouldn't risk your happiness for money. Um, I think that's something that entrepreneurs kind of they don't really i don't know if they understand that like they think it's all about money but to me it's it's a you have to have balance and um i think that's really important for you know long term uh for long term like if you want to stay in marketing for a long term you kind of have to have that happiness and wake up every day and be happy about what you're doing um so yeah that's a great point you have to have balance and boundaries and i was sleeping 2 hours a day i was available 24/7 we were always on calls always always and it was just not the life I wanted to live yeah. and now like I stay up late and I wake up early and I can barely sleep because I'm so excited about these purpose-driven funnels that I'm building awesome yeah that's insane so you said just one little glimpse that I want to bring up is you hired 15 VAs so mm -hmm. um, what was the process like for that oh it was so exciting actually some of them the best ones the top ones they work with me still in my other businesses. Yeah. So first we got, we were getting um, some emails from, we started selling the products, scaling the Facebook ads, selling a bunch of um, high volume of our products. And then along with that comes like returns or customers wanting to, just customers like, hey, can you fix my order? Yeah. And I was handling it in the beginning. Then I said, okay, I need a VA. I found this uh, smart woman in the Philippines. Like my, she's actually, 23 years old, mm. and just great English, and she was helping. And then we realized, wait, we need another person. So I got another guy. And then the next day, wait, we need, like, more people. Let me hire three more people. Yeah. And, like, I was, I was training them and stuff, and then I said to the first girl, Allison, I said, we're going to make you the manager. Can you be the manager? Can you <laughs> manage these people? Can you make the schedule, the work schedule? Um, wow. You're in charge. I'll give you a raise. And then we needed more people and more people. And then I had assistant managers. So one main manager, five assistant managers, and then 10, um, like, just regular ones. And yeah. That's pretty that, insane that you kind of yeah. gave that trust over to a VA. That's, that's awesome. Oh, I love VAs from the Philippines. And my experience is in the funnels and in the online marketing, but that wasn't even my main role with this project. It was like the HR, the hiring, the accounting, the payroll, um, shipping, logistics, like all other things that go into building a business. Right, yeah. Um, but when you're starting out with like, and you're scaling that fast, I feel like you don't even have time to think about like what your role really is. Like you're pretty much doing everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't even have time to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand that completely. 
Um, this is a little off topic, but I was on your Facebook page and I saw that you had a DJ picture. That's pretty. Are you a DJ? <laughs> No, uh, it's actually my fake persona, DJ Sleepy. <laughs> I have like four or five DJ pictures now, so if I go to a party and there's a DJ, I say, hey, can I take a photo for my Instagram? <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, it's just to keep things fun. In college, uh, I lot of, yeah. in college I was a DJ. Uh, I DJed oh, wow. like parties and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> um, so now you have a Two Comma Club award. Um how has that influenced your business going forward and how does that make you feel like do people treat you differently in the marketing space because you have that award i feel like they would right oh my gosh it's been it's been 10 days since i announced it to the world i actually made the the two comma club th three months ago but i was gonna wait to announce it to the internet before i had or once i had the photo because yeah. to me a screenshot is worthless like Sure, we use screenshots for affiliate marketing industry, but I didn't want to post a screenshot. I wanted to like have the picture. Yeah. And I knew it would like kind of go viral, and it did. And yes, it has. Um, I've gotten a lot of um, organic hot traffic from that. But you know, I will. I get feelings sometimes, like of imposter syndrome, like oh well, it's not fair. Like I don't deserve it. It was a team project. I, you know. I'm using this to my advantage when I shouldn't be. And I have to remember, no, I did put in the 22-hour days for months. I did build this business with the team, and this is my award. And um, just because, like, the business that I'm in now and I'm still making money with and helping people with is an e-com, it doesn't mean it's still not online business. It doesn't mean it's still not funnels yeah. and online marketing. So that is something I remind myself off. yeah absolutely i'm kind of like the same way where i kind of put like a lot of pressure on myself um and like sometimes i have to remember like wait like you're actually doing a lot of things and you know you're you're driven you have passion you know so that's great that's absolutely a great point i feel like people don't give themselves enough credit especially entrepreneurs it, it is hard to build your brand like no matter what point you're at because we also compare ourselves to others so yeah. I be, I'll be like, oh, I should have better microphone, better camera, better studio for my YouTube videos, and better professional photography, and better graphics. Yeah. And then there's so many people that I'm, like, teaching, and they think my stuff's, like, amazing, when I'm, like, <laughs> I think other Ty Lopez's stuff is amazing. Right. So, uh, but just learn, do, and teach, and keep teaching people what you know so many people don't know what you know exactly that's that's a hundred percent correct i totally agree with you with that and would you would you say that it's not about what you have it's about what you do with what you have would you agree with that like you don't need a 500 hundred dollar camera to start making youtube videos you don't need a three thousand dollar mic to like record yourself like you don't need no. these things no no way you can Make videos from your laptop, from your phone, but always be producing content. Like today, I made 10 different videos, so much content that it's too much to like release today. And yeah. that's a good place to be because tomorrow when I don't feel like filming, right. I'll have right. a bunch of content. So Exactly, exactly. So are you, you're, you're doing affiliate marketing, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you're also trying to grow your YouTube channel as well, right? Mm -hmm. The YouTube channel is a strategy to uh, grow the affiliate marketing. Yeah, exactly. So that's kind of similar to what I'm doing. I'm growing my YouTube channel, doing some affiliate marketing things on the side, giving content. Um, is it, affiliate marketing's fun, right? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah I, I dream about it. I like to <laughs> set in the, put in the work and then check my commissions like multiple times a day to see if I what came in. Yeah, exactly. It's so fun. Um, so... Let's see, let's see. So what's next? You have a two combo club. You're doing all these successful things. You know, you have a growing YouTube channel. You have a growing um, audience. What do you see yourself doing in the next year or two? Gosh, you know, I really haven't thought about it. I'm thinking like this week, what's going on? Because things are growing really rapidly. I created this um, free duplicatable system to make affiliate commissions off of ClickFunnels, off of email marketing software, off of ClickMagic tracking, 
off of traffic, like this this all in one like system where you can make multiple affiliate commissions from like different things, mm -hmm. and it's like growing, it's catching on, it's going viral. So I'm really focused on um, continuing to give what I know to my referrals so they succeed, right. and then with that. Um, growing my, my private mentorship too. I would love like for my private mentorship for me to obviously keep raising the price um, and helping people and helping them get results. But what's really fun too is having your own like in-person masterminds. Mm -hmm. Like hey everyone, fly to Hollywood and we'll do like a two-day mastermind in a mansion in the Hollywood Hills and then people pay for that. But you, you can't just sell it unless you um, can give them the results. So that will be in due time. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to go to that. <laughs> so let me know. Cool. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I had something in my head. Oh, got it. What's five tips that you can give to aspiring entrepreneurs who may not have the drive or may not believe that they can do it? What's five tips you would give them? Gosh, I think, okay, I'm going to start with some Grant Cardone tips. I was just I didn't prepare this answer ahead of time. So That's number one, good. don't don't be a little bitch. That's what Grant Cardone <laughs> said. Don't be a little bitch. And I tell this to myself all the time whenever I want to like complain or be like, oh, everything's so hard. It's like yeah. just do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, like no crying and complaining. Um, number two, which is also Grant Cardone, ten x massive action. So there's four types of action. There's regular action, um, retreating action, no action, which is still an action, yeah. and massive action. And he says the worst of them all is the regular action because mm. you're just flopping around. Yeah. And a massive action is how you get to the next level. So that's what I've been doing the past few weeks and longer. Just like keep producing content. Keep writing emails and yeah. typing stuff up. Keep helping people. Massive action. Um, three, yeah, this is my new hashtag, no flopping around. <laughs> so if you don't have like a, um, a blueprint or direction in front of you, find one. So, I mean, I know I said I don't know what's going on next week, but really like I do just yeah. to keep on um, optimizing my sales page and keep on doing webinars and VSLs and live streams and videos and that's the action plan. Right. Like I have action. A lot of people they don't have the action plan. They want to make money online and they're like let me learn Shopify and ClickFunnels and uh, Amazon FBA and get clients and learn Facebook Messenger bots yeah. and um, it's like gosh maybe pick one system to focus on which is why I created my like business in a box duplicatable system uh, for just put yourself out there even if you think people are gonna make fun of you because whatever the haters will show themselves you can block them delete them absolutely uh, whatever and five um, make friends in the community so like, everyone in this affiliate marketing community has been so nice. Like, I haven't met any meanie, asshole, yeah, idiots yet. Me either. Me either. Like, yeah, like, everyone on YouTube, you make friends with people on YouTube, subscribe to each other's channels, comment on each other's videos, um, get on each other's videos, and Facebook, join each other's groups, right. contribute to each other's groups. Facebook and um, YouTube are great for... The affiliate marketing community. Yeah. So just don't be a little bitch. 10x massive action. Um, no fucking no around. No fucking around. <laughs> um, what it was. Put yourself the, out there. Yeah. Just be vulnerable, even. And um, five, be in the community and make friends. Yes, I totally, totally agree with that. And one thing I would add onto that friend thing is. If you see someone doing being successful, model what they're doing. And this is something that Russell talks about a lot is like find people who are doing it and then just model it. Don't copy it, but model it and kind of put your own twist on it and you'll find yourself in that modeling. And if you don't know where like where to start, just find someone that's similar, find someone that you want to aspire to be and then just watch what they're doing, right? Watch their YouTubes and and I think that you can agree with that, right? Like 
Yeah, that's where I actually, um, one of like, someone I consider a mentor, your friend, Catelyn Betridge, yeah. he, you know, he gave his duplicatable system for people to copy or model, but also permission to just copy exactly. Right. And then J.R. Revis uh, has this um, a, academy funnel. He says, just copy it. So I started doing both of those things, and now I have my own system that I think is even better than right. everyone's. It's mine, and I worked <laughs> on it. And I tell people, copy it. Just use it exactly. Take my emails. Use them exactly. Copy my YouTube videos. You can copy my website. I have a share link to my website. People can copy. Copy my many chat messenger bot sequence. Yeah. I want you to copy it because you'll um, so get softwares under my affiliate link, and that's how I'll get paid. <laughs> yeah, I say the same thing. Copy because I get paid, but also copy because you can learn so much within those copy elements. Yeah. Um, so you said you have a, what's your YouTube channel? It is just Rachel S. Lee, but yeah, I'll, gosh, put, I'll put a link. Type, like, user yeah. slash Rachel S. Lee. I'll put a link down below. Mm -hmm. um, and you also said you have a Facebook group, so I'll put that link down below as well so people Please. can find you. Um, because again, like you're a two comma, two comma club winner you're awesome, you're doing amazing things, and it doesn't really matter if you were with a group like that, you you did it, you made a million plus. <laughs> so um, that's insane, and congrats, honestly, congratulations. Thank you, um, um, I'm excited for the, the next two comma club funnels, I wanna get 10 of those plaques. Yeah, right, exactly, same. I'm trying to get my first one, I'm trying to catch up to you. <laughs> um, but thank you so much Rachel for coming on my channel and kind of just giving some insight on how you were able to get to the two comma club and you know your journey how how you got there um, you shared some amazing tips so I think whoever is watching this take this watch this learn from Rachel copy us so that you can be a two comma club winner as well um, anything else you want to say Rachel before we head out um. Yeah, I tell people, model, be like an Instagram model, but <laughs> funnel model. And uh, I just wanted to say thanks for having me on here, and I really like your YouTube. You have really good uh, topics, so maybe people can also model some of your videos if they don't know what to make for their YouTube. And we can all subscribe to each other and support each other on each other's channels. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I really appreciate those kind words. Um, thank you for being here. Guys, I'm going to put a link down below for you to go to Rachel's Facebook group and her YouTube channel. Definitely subscribe to her YouTube and join her Facebook group. She shares a lot of amazing tips. Um, thank you guys for watching this. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, please leave a comment below. And if you haven't subscri subscribed, definitely subscribe because I have a lot of uh, cool interviews like this coming in the future. But once again, guys, thank you for being around. Thank you for enjoying my content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.